tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. You know, one time I came across your wall and you have Robert Collier's book. Oh, yeah. Which is within your reach. Right. Okay. And one of the things that I did was to practice what he was saying. So, in one of the chapters of the book, he was encouraging people to dress your best and then go out and dare to expect something big is going to happen for you. Mm -hmm. So, one day, I had two dollars in my pocket and I, ha I was supposed to attend a digital marketing training and it's gonna cost me fifty dollars to actually attend that training so on the way to the hotel where the training was going to uh, happen I asked myself you know what in the middle of my travel I told myself you know what I have to go down the bus but I still have to maximize the exercise of expecting the best so what I did was I went down at the Shangri-La it's one of the malls here and I was asking myself you know something has to happen because I dared to move so I went to the coffee shop and my money was just enough to buy a water bottle but I was still telling myself you know what something's going to happen because I moved and I'm practicing the principle so I was there dressed in my business attire and I heard someone he was looking for actors and since I have clients who are actors I went up to the guy and then I told him you know I have friends and I have clients who are actors so if you're casting someone you probably want to check my uh, circle and then he asked me what I was doing and I told him I was an energy healer and he got very curious so he went down to get me coffee because he already met other healers and he knew about the energy exchange concept so that was the first thing uh, that demonstrated out of me daring to go out and the other thing was while he was downstairs getting me coffee one of my clients sent me a text and she said i just deposited money for our session the other day mm. and you know that's what i was saying that's right you all you really have to dare and and believe that something will happen exactly <laughs> the energy field you know energy you you're an energy hero healer so you know energy is is us as us through us around us we are in an atmosphere of energy we are immersed in it it's around us so when you when you put that out there it couldn't help but just transform into your client saying hey i just deposited this money i absolutely love that action action reaction mm -hmm. action reaction that's what the law of attraction is but so many people look to the law of attraction as as the primary law but mm. it's not it's a secondary law there are yeah. eight laws that precede the law of attraction it's cause and effect attraction is an effect we have to understand gain the knowledge and and the understanding of the laws that precede the law of attraction yes thank you for sharing that, that. that. it's it's so amazing when you're in this vortex of energy you're so excited and you also have other people to exchange your excitement with. I know that if you put the intention out there, That's right. and you don't have any doubt, it's really going to unfold. Like what Dr. Stephen said, you know, there's an action and there's the reaction. Yes. Yes. So what do you suggest aside from that person who wanted to make a million pesos what should be that person's uh initial step write it write it down write it down that would be the initial step write it down and and get completely clear it's writing it down but it's saying why you want it there has to be a reason why <laughs> 
because it's not going to fuel you. You're not going to be attached to it if you don't have the reason why. And then the next step really would be is to have a little brainstorming session with yourself. Mm -hmm. Be yes. vigilant. Guard your thoughts about any negativity coming in. And know that this is your truth because what the mind can from Napoleon Hill, what the mind can conceive and believe the mind can achieve. So then you sit down and you designate some time and start to make a list with a pad of paper, no distractions of everything. Remember, I was talking about taking that step, no matter how big or how small. In fact, there's there's no big and small anyway when we really get into this. Exactly. But you sit down and you start making a list of everything that you could do now that you should do now that would move you closer. Okay, if I don't have the company yet, what is my company name? How will I serve? Because, you know, there's a law of compensation that says, you know, it's how good we do what we do and, and, and how good we provide a service and how unique we are in that, just to kind of paraphrase what the law actually is. <laughs> so decide what kind of, how are you gonna be in service? Start writing down what is, how can I be the very best of what I do and what I deliver. How can I touch the most people? And just start writing all those ideas mm -hmm. down. It doesn't matter. You're not going to act on all of them all at one time. You, you it's couldn't. Impossible. But yes. you're starting to yes. think and you're starting to move in a positive direction. You're starting to. Yes. Anything is absolutely possible. You know, when you look into the big dream, you have to give yourself permission. Wow. Permission to dream because when you're a kid you don't there's no word as permission in terms of dreaming and fantasy and imagining <laughs> when you're a kid you just do it because you know that's what kids do but when you hit the threshold of now you're officially an adult that's when all of a sudden you're starting to uh, adapt to the social norms of oh well that's just that's for kids but yeah. if we go back even biblically what does it state that we're supposed to uh, uh, be like children. And yes. if you put that in context there, then yes, you do want to imagine, you do want to fantasize because those are the, the, those are the spaces, the energy spaces where you are just flying into whatever you're imagining into whatever it is that you want to be, do or have. There are no restrictions, and that's where that I don't know how is really going to come from. One thing that I'm a big believer of is that what you mentioned earlier, it comes back in unexpected ways. But if you also expect that, for example, in my work as an energy healer, one of the things that people constantly talk about is not everybody is open to the idea of an energy exchange. But one of my teachers said, you also have to expect that people are capable so that they can rise up and become more empowered with your expectation. What can you say about it, Dr. Stephen? Should well, you expect people to rise up to that level of empowerment? Well, you know, we're, we're taught that all the time. We see that all the time. And in so many of the books that we, you and I both study that, you know, we when we see the highest and best in someone, they will usually rise up to meet that expectation we have of that. We're not changing the person. Yes. We're just seeing the goodness that already exists within them. Exactly. And, and to speak yes. to what you said, that if some people don't believe in the energy exchange, it is there. Just walk into a room with somebody exactly. that's in a really, really bad mood and you can feel <laughs> that energy. You can feel that person that is in the room that's angry. It works both ways. You can feel that. Well, guess what? It works on the other side too when there's positive, uplifting energy. So we're here to see the good that is the essence, the core of everyone we meet. And when we see the highest and best to you, of you, guess what? That becomes our reality and you will rise to that. It works all the time. Yes. Thank you for sharing it, Dr. Stephen. It's such a powerful thing to hear, especially I know that it's a new thing for a lot of our viewers because the power of expectation, people unconsciously expect problems mm -hmm. by the virtue of the conversations that we have with the people around us so that deliberate intention 
of expecting the highest good from people, I know it shifts energy. It does. Yeah, and let me just leave your your viewers and listeners with with the words, you know, that you have to take your your eyes and your focus on what's outside of you and focus on the inside of you. Exactly. When I talked to Bob Friday, he told me to share today that there is a power in you that's far greater. And we, we also see this in scripture. Exactly. There is a power within you that is far greater than anything you will ever encounter in the world around you. No matter what it was, take your eyes off the illusion of lack and limitation. Take your eyes off of, of poverty and problems and look at the goodness and the grace and the flow that is within you that you're participating in and stand in that energy, stand in your power. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in. And definitely, we want to have Dr. Stephen and Tene visit us again so we can talk about the amazing journey that they both have. Especially Dr. Stephen said it's actually a trilogy. Did I get that right? Yeah, yeah. trilogy of tribulation. Yeah. And, Red, and you want to hear more about it. And, and real quick, I want to tell you, you know, I'm also an ordained unity minister and I'm going to do my my eight o'clock service right now, right after this on Unity Prosperity on Facebook. Unity Prosperity, which is short for Unity Prosperity Ocean International, which is my my ministry. Unity Prosperity. You can find my morning message this morning in about 20 minutes. All right. Thank you so much and have fun. Thank everyone. you so much for having us. God bless you. Thank you. everybody. Okay. Remember, at here in Practical Magic, we want to remind you, you're actually the magic that you've been waiting for. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.